StickyBot is a gecko-inspired robot designed for climbing smooth surfaces using directional dry adhesives. It weighs approximately 300 grams and the body is 30 centimeters long. StickyBot has 12 servo motors which allow its legs to have two primary degrees of freedom. The third degree of freedom lets the toes curl and conform to objects. The body is made using a multi-material prototyping process and contains four grades of urethane that allow it to conform at centimeter and millimeter scales. Magnetic sensors measure deflections and are used to maintain desired internal forces in a Cartesian stiffness control scheme. Each toe contains thousands of asymmetric elastomeric stalks that deform and adhere to surfaces using van der Waals forces. StickyBot can climb glass, acrylic, and tile at 4 centimeters per second. Future versions of these pads will be able to adhere to rougher surfaces and require less frequent cleanings. In recent years, there has been considerable progress in the development of small-legged robots capable of stable running over rough terrain. Researchers are beginning to expand this work to robots that can climb and maneuver on vertical surfaces. A new technology has been developed that uses spines to catch onto surface disparities. This enables robots to scale hard vertical surfaces such as concrete, brick, or stucco without the use of suction or adhesives. The technology has been implemented on the 400 gram SpinyBot 2 robot, which can carry an additional 400 gram payload, including a wireless camera. Spines can work on a variety of surfaces. They are quiet, consume low power, and leave no trace. The robot uses spines with 12 micrometer tip radii. They hook onto surface bumps and pits in much the same way that the spines on cockroaches and other insects do. A single SpinyBot 2 foot contains 20 spines on 10 toes. Each toe contains two linkages that can deflect and stretch independently to maximize the probability that multiple spines will find asperities and distribute the load. SpinyBot 2 has six legs and uses an alternating tripod gait. Each leg is an underactuated mechanism designed to easily engage and disengage the spines. A seventh actuator produces a ratcheting motion that alternately advances each tripod up the wall. The legs pull inward slightly toward the center line to increase stability and reduce failure should one of the legs momentarily lose its grip. However, SpinyBot 2 fails if it reaches a large, smooth patch of wall. Current work includes using the spine technology on robots that have more degrees of freedom, so they can overcome obstacles, such as windowsills, and corners. The final goal is to produce a robot that could go anywhere on land, for search and rescue or military applications. Whoa! Ready, go! <laughs> 